a reflective fashion production. This is Prince Tales. Okay, so I turned the light off. I don't know why I did that because I'm tired, but it's early. And I did say that if I get up early, I'm going to start cleaning up, starting with this. So normally we take this, sorry about the blurriness, but normally we take this down and um, just have it up. When Prince is around and we don't want him going in our rooms, which, hold on, I'm going to put it together. I could turn, um, I could close the doors, but I really don't want to do that. I'm trying to do it with one hand, but I'm going to, I'm going to put it like that for right now. Can you see it? Okay. I'm going to put it for, like that for right now. This is what our kitchen looks like. I need to take the trash out. I need to feed him. He didn't even eat his food from last night. And here is the guest of honor right here. And he's so handsome in the dark. He like, what is going on, lady? So his bed is out because he marked his territory. I really don't like him doing that, but it, it is what it is. I'm going to wash his bed tonight, t tonight, this morning. Mm. So he has a little night light. I'm going to turn it off and open the blinds. This is his little salt lamp. What? It's not his, but he definitely knows when it's not on and he be feeling some type of way. So he wakes us up in the, mo in the middle of the night. But... Since it's like five o'clock, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Cause we're about to get busy. And look at this. He got his toy from his mommy yesterday. We went to go see his mom and he got this. Isn't that cute? You can uh stick treats or food in there. That's so cute. But I'm gonna just leave it on the floor. Cause he's looking at it. He's like, stop recording me and let me out. Notice how we got shoes. It is really messy in here, so I definitely got to clean up. So I didn't want to talk about some things. This is our couch. Woo, we got, we got some cleaning up to do. So I was honestly thinking about just um, washing everything, but I think I shouldn't. I don't know. I can't decide. We'll figure We'll figure it out when um, I start taking things and putting it in the car to go to the laundromat, um, which I think the laundromat is easier for me because I can get everything done in two hours versus, you know, waiting to wash without spoil that way. Um, anyway, but this is still holding up really well. He likes it. Friends. Oh, you want to go potty? You want to go outside? You want to go for a walk? Okay, so we're going to go for a walk really quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually feed him before we go on a walk. Because I really need to give him a bath. You want a bath? Did you see that face? You want a bath? You want a bath, big boy? You need one. You was in the grass yesterday. He said, don't talk to me. <laughs> so I took Prince on a walk. And these are my new tennis shoes for us to go exercise in, right? Well, my feet are swollen. So they look like this. Isn't that fun? No, it's not. Anyway, look at him. That's, that's not. Okay, good. Anyway, so we actually had the Martingale for his collar. This is what we walk him with. The reason why I walk him with this collar is because he does not listen to me at all when it comes to um, walking. When it comes to walking, he doesn't listen. And so I got the prone collar because I was just like, it's easier and he listens. And in fact, when he was a puppy, we had the same, not this per se. I think this is a lot better because you can actually 
take it off of him easier versus the other one you have to slide over his uh head so it's not bad like it's a little big because his neck is very slender sorry for the glare his neck is real slender he's like a skinny neck dog <laughs> skinny neck dog but i um uh, i had a pit bull so that's what we use to walk him um the martingale is just it's not for me maybe when he gets a little bit older martingale murphy uh the murphy collar hold on let me go get it okay so this is the murphy collar. get this is the murphy collar here um you'll slide this part over his neck and then you'll use this to uh to walk but with prince would you st he, clearly he doesn't like it um but he would actually have this on and tell me what to do and i was just really like this is not working because he's very heavy and as you can see look he's not he don't want to talk about this he don't like this okay so can you drop it that's not that's not what this is for can i have this friends oh, i'm throwing this stuff Can I have this? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's blurry. Let me get this up. So now we're going to give him a bath. Normally, I give him a bath with Malia helping me, and I have this glove on, which is why he's like this. Okay. Sit, 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 sit. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to brush you, okay? So I'm going to actually brush him down, and then we're going to put him in the, the bathtub. Well, let's see who goes in the bathtub. So I got him in here. We're about to give him a bath. He's trying to steal stuff, so I was just like, nope, we can really give you a bath. And I like how he just looks at the bathtub, so <laughs> it's easy like that, but... Since it's just me this morning, I hope I don't end up in the bathtub. <laughs> so I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know like how, you know, you see those uh, different bath videos with the dogs and they're sitting all good and everything. Prince doesn't do that. So this is what I have to do to entice him to even take a bath. So I'm hoping that we can go smoothly because it's just me and him and I'm not going to show you, <laughs> I'm not going to show you that, but this is what I use to even get him, you know, halfway decent in the bathtub. What? I'm cleaning out your room so you can go in there, okay? I'm going to put a towel down. I just have to clean it out since we gave you a nice bath, okay? You going to wait? You going to wait for me? Okay, I had to wipe his um, room down. That's what we call his crate. And um, I'm about to put this towel down so he can lay on that for right now. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Let me put, let me get you together. Let me get you together. Okay. He looking at Malia. Just wait for me. Wait, just wait. I'll be finished in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. He was actually scratching at the carpet. <laughs> it was so cute. But I uh, stopped the video so you couldn't see it. Uh, let me put this in his his room. So this is our new friend. We got hit from his um, visit with his mom. Um, I'm going to actually put peanut butter on this so that I can get him in his room. I'm really excited because this is really hard and it can you you can use this for, you know, multiple use. Like you can put treats in there and you can put peanut butter on here. Um, he could just play with it. I, I really, really like this. I think this was a great idea to get him um, because we do have a lot of toys 
that are like this for him because he he rips up toys like crazy but um not only that but we do do bark and they're super chewers and this this right here this is a super chewer to toy i'm gonna go ahead and put some peanut butter on here so i can get him out of the bathroom and into his room that is what it looks like just to have him in his room for the time being being i'm actually going to let him stay in there until i clean the bathtub clean the bathroom get it all together get it back together um i'm just <sighs> giving him a bath has been an experience and i did it by myself without malia and it was crazy like i shoot i got a bath too not a good one but <laughs> i got my pants wet my stomach wet like <sighs> it was it was nice talk about how dirty my dog was ridiculous okay so I like tried to scoop all the hair down so I can pick it up. It's a lot of hair. Um, he is not a pit bull. He is a mountain cur. So he has a double coat and he's a short hair dog. Like I've done so much research on him is ridiculous. I'm still learning about him. But um, I was telling Malia, I was like, he is so dirty. Like I, what is going on? But we didn't give him a bath in December or January. We just did dry baths. But I really think that, no, we did give him a bath a couple of weeks ago, I thought. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is try to get him um, acclimated back to going to the bathtub. Like, he goes to the bathtub. It's just that um, he wants to get out. <laughs> so uh, let, me, let me finish cleaning the bathtub. I think I did a really good job of cleaning the bathtub, especially getting the hairs. I don't see any hairs. I might have to put my glasses on to see <laughs> if I got it all. Woo! Because that was a lot. Then I think what I'm going to do is actually get him some new shampoo. We might use Ormond Hammer because this is what um, we have. We have the dry shampoo in this wall. And then we got the regular shampoo. Um, but I think we're just going to do Orm and Hammer because Malia was like, mom, it's just like little white spots on him. So I'm just like, oh, okay. Plus, I think we need to get a better thing going on with the uh, bathroom because this is his little basket that used to have his toys in it. And we got him a new toy box. So I was just like, we should put his bathroom stuff in it. But now we need like a something to hold this because it's taking up my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's brush time and this is something that we're gonna have to start implementing every day because he does have a double coat as well as being a short hair dog but we're going to give him a dry bath once a, once a week and then we're going to give him a bath once a month only because it's starting to get a little hot and we're going outside more than we did in the winter time so we did get his February bark box which I'm super super excited about it's so cute on the side of the box, it says, from your dog's not-so-secret admirer, which is really cute as well. Okay, so here's the story to the, the little box. It's the squirrels. Okay, so look out, pup. The squirrels have taken over. These rascally rodents have hightailed into your super chewer box and are ready to enrage you. Er, engage you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's time to take action or be taunted. It's a squirrel's world and we're just playing in it. That's so cute. So one of the things I do want to leave with is make sure you pay attention to how you um, wash your toys. I actually did not pay attention and I threw one in the dishwasher. Um, luckily, it was dishwasher safe and I am super excited about that. But I do want to let you know to pay attention to that because that's really, really important. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sharing is caring, and we will talk to you all soon.